This is the first AW-169 in the U.S. Next Air is the owner of this aircraft, and we at Safe Structure had the opportunity to build the first set of maintenance stands for this aircraft. Let me show you what we did. So over here we have our side stands. These side stands are designed to be super ergonomic to this aircraft so that the mechanics don't have to bend over when they're working. The uh, deck adjusts to various heights off this crank right here, which is a really great feature. So it's real simple to do. And um, that allows, in this position right here, that's, this is where the mechanics feel is a great height to work at when working under the cowling. And then they're able to raise it up, which we'll see on the other side, plenty high to reach the rotor head. So they never really have to step or touch the aircraft. They can work right from the platform and adjust the height. Our stands also come with an anti-fatigue mat. This is to protect the mechanics back and knees while working. This anti-fatigue mat is, um, is slip and resistant and also chemical and oil resistant as well. If you get a spill, you won't slip on that spill and you can simply just wipe it up as well. We also provide FOD containers and an FOD bag. The container sits here. FOD bag sits on our handrails. We uh, have another special feature over here. Put jacks all around the all around the stand, but the casters are also locking and swiveling, and they're also directional. So you have a lot of options, but we feel that working on casters could potentially be dangerous. So for safety reasons, we also just add some jacks for added stability so you can actually take it off the casters when you're working on the stand. There's double set. This is the uh, left side. We also make a right side stand for the aircraft, which is the same thing, they're mirror images. We also make tow bars. You notice the stand doesn't heat or hit the aircraft. It fits like a glove under it. And what we've allowed to do is, is if we raise this stand up high enough, which it can, see um, right here we have pins. So as you raise this deck, they'll just put the pins in. So this deck actually goes above that last hole. When this deck is fully extended at its max height, you're able to actually open these doors right there. And at that point, you're able to actually walk right under here. Yeah, you have to step over this, but you're actually able to access the cabin of the aircraft when this is at its first, its max height, and these doors are actually able to be opened. Now, these doors on this aircraft actually pop out and slide back. On some other aircraft of this model, the door actually pops up. In either event, we left a large enough cavity under here, under the aircraft, so that regardless of how your door opens, whether it pops up or slides back, there's plenty of room in this cavity to do that. So your door can always be open. You can always work inside the aircraft as well as on top of the stand above the aircraft. Over here we have the tail stand. Work on the tail rotor. Same thing, it's on uh, casters which lock and swivel, but we also put it on jacks for extra stability. Uh, the special feature on this is, is to fit around the tail of the aircraft, we actually have sliders. They're very functional, very easy to use, super simple design. Just simply turn the handle, loosen up the slide out, you can pull the slide out, fit it right to the aircraft, or pull it away from the aircraft. It's really that simple and then lock the slider down. That allows a seamless fit. You can actually take these two, boom. And there we go, here's your fit. All right. That is the stands for the 169 safe structure. You also see the perfect ergonomic height right here.
We also added tool trays. So boom, boom. If you notice, the mechanic never has to bend over.